Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of the subscribers, that notification gang. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. So Briz Rothstein finds his way back in the news. Now, I will say one thing about Briz Rothstein's element. He's managed to stay relevant without even having to battle. Um, we all know he hasn't battled in over a year, probably almost two now, heading into 2022. It's been a minute. Uh, you know, he's dipped back in, and now he said what he said. He was supposed to battle Moop like 35 times. The battle never happened. And now he's talking again. So I'm just going to, you know, I'll give it to the people who, you know, who, there's a lot of folks who might not know what's going on. So... Sue Surf, who has been doing the job that he was supposed to be doing some years ago. The way he's talking now, the way he's promoting battle rap now, the way he's moving, doing the thing. He should have been doing this years ago. Because I've said this before. URL needed a poster child, somebody that was going to push the brand forward, stay loyal to the brand, not battle ever on any other leagues, never volunteer. That could help move them to the forefront, even though URL has always been in front. Um, Sue Surf has been one that's went on record that said he would never battle on Rare Breed Entertainment. He would take a contract just to use it as a bargaining tool. He told Dre Dennis he would take 10 times less more money than Dre Dennis offers him just to stay home. Now, when you are in a financial space that is that great that you could take, so if, so, so if somebody offered you $1,000, you would take 100 If they offered you $10,000, you would take 1000 just to stay home. Now, I don't know if this is true, but this is what, this is Sue. So, um, Sue Surf is now creating his own battles. You know what I'm saying? He's got his own, I'm not going to say league, but he's putting together his own card of battles. I've been seeing a lot of promotion and a lot of people talking about this for the past couple of days, whether on Twitter, whether on YouTube, whatever the case may be. He says, Midnight Madness, Prestavia versus Yoshi, Big T versus Lou Castro, Snake Eyes versus Nun Nun Cuban versus Bars Major, Midnight Madness. And he was saying that Smack is going to be there. I've seen other MCs say, well, if it ain't on URL, it don't count. These battles are not on URL. I've seen Mad Flex, I believe, say this looks like a bunch of stuff that doesn't count. You know, because that's what people try to say. We can't move the goalposts and it count one way and then it don't count. So for now, we're just going to stick there. Um, easy to Black Captain. Um, a verb called out easy for that same quote-unquote card. He said, are you free the 29th? Because we can make it a whole fiasco. Easy the black captain then says, if the money, if you got my bread right, you know, somebody going to be dead, right? Like if the bread is there, I'm there. So now you got another potential. A verb has created his own group now. That's another thing. So um, he says, we can make it a whole fiasco and this can be a thing. Now I see where Briz jumps in. Briz says, where is the money coming from? Because I'll put Surf head on a plate and send it to Troy Door Rat. I will put, I will put Surf's head on a plate and send it to Troy's Door Rat. I have never heard Briz. I don't even know where the energy for Briz going at Surf even came from. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, Because I know... Briz Cave Gang, Surf Gun Titles, Rock Gun Titles, Rock and, rock and Briz Cool, you know, so I, they was never on the same. Matter of fact, Surf was in Briz Corner when he battled Loso, you know, when he was going crazy. I don't know Los, but I'll put two sticks in the wave like a rowboat. So I know that they had a mutual respect, if nothing else, but looks like that's out the door. So Surf says, I'm sorry. These little powwows are for the financially comfortable, Briz. Maybe next time. Surf, you know, he does the Floyd Mayweather. He goes at him and says, you know, you ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no money. So what are we talking for? These situations are for the people with money, the financially comfortable, more comfortable than a Huxtable. And you ain't getting a Lunchable. So he's trying to say, basically, you ain't, I'm not, you're not part of this right here. Um, 
I've seen Verb go out there and say, this is not about to be no surf card. You know, you want to take the what with the what? Like, that's not what this is. We're not, we're not about to just make a we praising Sue surf card and everybody's just going to jump on it. It's supposed to be an event, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, Verb has MCs now that he's pushing. He's pushing a Bars Major, who actually is good. Bars Major Battle Rum. He's had a lot of other battles before, too. He's pushing now Henny Man, Henny's Man's down, Snake Eyes is down with Verb's crew. So it looks like an intermingling of, of forces, and it would be allegedly a Snake Eyes versus None None. A lot of people sleep on None None. None None is nice. The reason why I will say this people try to just give None None a slight, because you're all going to be booking him like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they wanted to send him out there to try to humble A Ward, but it's like you got mad events and you're not booking him on. He's nice, but you're not booking him. So it's like you don't really got no stock invested in him because you ain't booking him. If you was booking him and he would, you know what I say, if you cooking, you already know the rest. So it's kind of like a weird scenario in that regard. But none of is nice and none of them beat Loso in the tournament that a lot of people felt like Loso was going to win. A lot of people tried to sweep that win under the rug, but it did happen. Now, back to Briz. Um, I think a lot of people look at it like, we're not seeing Briz. Like, Briz ain't battle nobody, you know what I'm saying? Briz don't really do media like that. He don't got no, really no interviews. You know, he might tweet. Like, he has a Twitter. Follow Briz Rostin on Twitter. I think he has an Instagram now, too. I think he lost his last one, whatever the case may be. But you don't, he, don't, he don't battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know he's got his uh, issues with URL due to whatever happened with the MOOC situation. But he ain't battle. He ain't took a battle. He ain't rapped in over almost two years. So it's kind of like when you see him stick his head out there to talk shit at surf, would that be an interesting battle? Hell yeah, it would be an interesting battle. But right now, that plane and that wave that surf is on, I don't know, man. Like, I've seen him take down some real, real, real dangerous MCs. John John is a dangerous MC. John John wanted that bridge, wanted that surf battle for a while. That changed the trajectory of the year. Cal beat Surf in the first joint, second one he lost. Twerk had battle Rock, did really good versus Rock, and we thought it would carry over into the Surf battle, and you know, it is what it is. That's just, <laughs> I, got, I can't even say much about that joint, besides Surf 3-0. Um, now, while I don't think the Ultimate Rap League will book a Briz versus a Surf, because they probably feel slighted. It's like, yo, like we gave you the MOOC opportunity more than once, you ain't take it. We good off that. Like we we moving in another direction. Now, I don't see Surf battling on his own Midnight Madness, Midnight Madness event. You know what I'm saying? But I see him putting together some battles. And allegedly, these are all supposed to be dropping on YouTube. Now, what I will say is this: battles that drop on YouTube still have validity. YouTube is a very strong entity. Because everybody can't see an event live. Like, you got people like, okay, if somebody has to work, like they literally have a job and they got to work, they got to choose between work and watching a whole six to eight hour caffeine stream on a Saturday, that shit might not happen. Then the app, you know what I'm saying, the app battles drop on the app, yeah, that's true. But when you see what happened with Hollow versus K Shine dropping on YouTube and on Christmas and it's almost, it's over half a million views, that shows you that there's a large, population of people who don't have caffeine app don't have the url app and will watch battles strictly on youtube because the the viewership that's heading to youtube to watch a hollow versus shine is not the same people you got to believe that ain't nobody gonna watch a battle on caffeine watch it again on the app when it drops and then go watch it on youtube that's just not happening so there's a whole dynamic a whole demographic of people that could be tapped in to that are YouTube subscribers. There's just some people that are just casual battle rap fans. They're not downloading no apps. They're not paying for, they're not doing none of that. But you know, something drop on YouTube, they will still watch it. And with URL, they still have the power to drop a battle that still does millions of hours. And K Shine vs. Hollow is gonna easily do a million views. Um, so if Surf's battles that he has on his card, the Big T vs. Luke Castro, which is a very interesting battle, and then um, potentially a Verb versus Easy, and a Prestavia versus Yoshi. That's a fire battle right there, because Yoshi is nice. Prestavia is very nice. I gotta see her get tested. I've seen her battle a couple times on Gates of the Garden, things like that. 
No knock on Gates of the Garden. I've seen what Sue Surf was saying about them and things like that, but there are a lot of people who revived careers on Gates. There are a lot of people who got their name and got their first looks and things like that. I saw Kid Slade, I believe, on Gates. I've seen Don Marino. I know the first place I ever seen him was Gates of the Garden, him versus Chess, and, and you had Sagas and a lot of other people who revived and built their brands or rebuilt their brands via Gates of the Garden. We all know it's a small league, but you know, they definitely are making moves and they got a lot of a lot of things in place. And Dre Dennis, you know, he uh, just battled Gichi Gotti over. There. So with the Briz thing, Briz sending saying he'll send Serves head to smack on the plate. It's relevant and it's newsworthy to talk about because of MC like Briz said it, but I don't think it has legs and I don't think it's gonna go anywhere just for the simple fact that I don't know when we're going to see Briz again. You know what I'm saying? We might fuck around and see Briz on Rare Breed. I, I can see that happening. Like, you know, I don't know when we're going to see him. So I don't have anything more than that. But I will say this. Surf quickly responded and said these conversations are for the financially comfortable. What does that mean? That means for the ones with that bag, you know. But what Surf made, you know, is not the same compared to other people. There's not a lot of people that's getting them 30s, them 40s, them 50 clips of battle. Um, I will say this. The biggest surprise of 2021 has to be the resurgence of Sue Surf. The fact that he's finally stepping into that, you know, Chris Paul is like the president of the Players Association, like being the forefront, the leader, but playing at a high level. Because you can't be the forefront or the figurehead of battle rap or in URL if you're not winning your battles. You're bringing two rounds. You're losing battle out there. Like, it just doesn't work like that. You could still say the things you say because he's always said what he said. But it didn't hold much validity because the battles weren't as good. You're losing. It's like, man, what? I'm like, man, listen, hell no. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with uh, his last battle that he just had, his opponent's like, yo, I want a rematch. You know, I'm, I'm going to win my next three battles and then I want a rematch. And then people automatically are like, you say this every six months. I don't care. We're not trying to hear it. Because, you know, they, people are only accustomed to what they see. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, it doesn't matter the MC. When Daylight was playing around, niggas gave him the same energy. Now that he's serious, it's like, all right, cool. You know? You, when Surf was not showing up for three rounds and bullshitting through battles and taking shows and doing all of that before battles, niggas treated him the same way. We're going to see where it goes and if it grows any legs. But, you know, he said he'll send Surf's head to Troy on a plate. That's gangster. Anyway, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or passing. If nothing else pops up, I hope this is my last vlog of 2021. Salute to every single one of y'all. Appreciate y'all. We'll be back in a second. Gang, gang.